One of the coolest feature of ZBrush is ZModeler tool. ZModeler tool is a brush that makes ZBrush capable of doing 3D modeling directly inside ZBrush. I believe it's a great feature. So in chapter seven, let's do some modeling. Not this modeling. I don't mean by this modeling. What are you doing? I don't. I. I, I don't mean this modeling. We have now moved to our new chapter which is chapter 7 about the Z modeler. For a long time, ZBrush was considered a software that added finishing detail to models rather than a software for creating the basic meshes in the first place. But with the addition of several new features, including the Z modeler brush, ZBrush can now handle polygon, vertex, and edge, level editing, and you know, uh, in much same way that the poly modeling program like Maya and 3D Studio Max can do. So let's take a look at the basic usage of this brush. Okay, so we have this model open that is fairly a low poly, which is generally the type of mesh you want to use with Z modeler. But not always, you can have some other uh, sort of model as well. So to get the Z model brush, I will just go here, B, Z, and then I have here M. So I'll press M and I will go back, uh, I will go inside the Z modeler brush. So you can see that this is a quite a different sort of a brush than the others now which will help me to uh, hover over with these kind of details let me zoom in so you can see also clearly what is or uh, what is going to happen right now so as we hover over model you can see that it's highlighting faces okay and edges and vertices which are basically points okay so now this brush will do different things on these different components independently and we can't see what the brush does to these components by holding down a uh, uh, like space bar you can see now we are uh, having that tool so if i'm on the like a face like a polygon face if i press space bar it will show me the, op the option related to the polygon face if i'm on, i'm on the edge Okay, if I press spacebar, so it will show me the options related to that. If I will go to the vertices or the point, okay, and then spacebar, so uh, you can see that the like the settings are different. So whatever part you are going down and you know you are hovering over, so you will press the spacebar, you will get the options related to that. So in Z uh, Z model brush, we are going to get a pop up that shows uh, several different actions that you have seen here and perform whatever values you want so you have the uh, like uh, these options here and each options have a target what these options will do and each target have modifier so these are uh, actions these are the targets of the of, of the action and these are the modifiers of the target so this is what we usually get whenever we press the space bar now, if I'm here in my poly here, uh, like face, if I will go, now as I told you before, actions, if I will go to extrude, it will show me the target over here. And I, if I will choose the target, it will show me the modifier of that target. So for each of these values, you will get different sort of uh, modifiers, okay? Target pretty much remains the same, but these actually changes according to whatever you are looking at. So there are a lot of options here, a lot of targets, a lot of modifiers here. But the one that I really want to discuss right now is known as the do nothing. You can see here we have the do nothing. Now it sounds uh, kind of a little funny, but once you start working with this brush, you'll actually find it very useful. So uh, let's turn on do nothing for the edges. Okay, so it's turned on. And now I will go to the vertices, spacebar, and do nothing for the vertices also. But for the poly face, for the polygon here, the faces, I will not do that. So what happens over here is that what it actually do? Uh, 
at this stage it will do as what it says it will do nothing now your actions are only going to affect on the faces like suppose if i will go here and press uh, the space bar and if i will go to inset okay so it will only inset let me turn on the edge faces or the my shift f to turn on the polyframe now if i will press here to do the inset so now as you have seen so now as you have seen here so now as you have seen here Pressing shift uh, or space bar. Now, as you have seen, pressing space bar on any one of these points will give you a lot of different things here. Okay. And basically, they are kind of a lot. And some of the more common ones, uh, we will uh, so as you have seen, each one of these uh, parts, like uh, either it is a face polygon or an edge or a vertex, uh, vertex point. They have a lot of different options which we cannot cover right now which we will cover later on but the one which i really want to discuss right now is called do nothing and that's where you have this now do nothing seems a little funny at first but once you start working with this brush you will actually find it to be fairly useful so let's see what the do nothing actually do we will apply the do nothing to the edges and we will apply on the vertex as well. Now, what is the use of this? Suppose I want to do something on the face, on the polygon. So if I will press shift here, let's see what we can do. Let's see we can uh, we, uh, just let's do inset over here. So I will press shift F to turn on my polyframe so you can see what's going on. So if I will press here now, so what it will do, it will do the inset because I turned on the inset from here. And it is inserting a single polygon, and it is these values are applied over here. Usually, I don't change these values, I use it as it is. Okay, so it is actually insetting, but by mistake, if I go and the edge and do the inset, okay, so it will start insetting that part, okay. Uh, or if I will just go to the edge and use the inset as on the edge also, so it will start insetting the edge as well. And if I will go to the vertex, and if I will turn on the uh, some other thing for the vertex, okay, like extrude or something. And by mistake, if I will, if I'm trying to do inset on the face, but by mistake, if I click on the uh, edge or or on the point, so I might get the result which I'm not looking for. So to avoid this, this is where let me undo everything. This is where that do nothing comes in. So now if I will go uh, and on the edge and press shift instead of inset now I will do press on do nothing. So what will happen by mistake if I will go on the edge and start clicking on nothing will happen because it says do nothing. And if I will go to the vertex and press do nothing so it will not extrude any, uh, next time it will do nothing. So now if I will go here start working on it and by mistake if I click here. On the edge it will not do anything to the edge it will only work on the vertices if uh, it will only work on the polygon face if i will go to the vertex and if i will try that it will not do anything to the vertex because it will it it is a setup to the do nothing so this is how the do nothing helps it's a quite uh like a small thing but it really helps uh, and, and it really it uh, saves you life for a uh, while you are doing the modeling and uh, anything here so uh, we have a basic idea of how this brush works, the Z model brush. In upcoming videos, we are going to 
take a closer look at some of these commands and settings. So don't worry about if you have not gone through the whole detail. Uh, just you should know it works with uh, these three parts, which is the poly, uh, gone square, the quad, you can say, or face, you can say, the edge, okay, and the vertex. And each one of them have different uh, settings that you have to press space bar for that, okay. And this is how it actually works. And uh, if you like the video, please click on the like button. And we will cover more details in the next lessons. And also click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for the next uh, like tutorials and all those things. So by the time, take care of yourself. Please keep uh, subscribing and asking you, ask, also ask your friends to subscribe as well. So we'll meet in the next class. Until then, take care of yourself. Thank you.